What's up guys, do you want to go from being able to do this to being able to do this? Stick with me, and I'll show you how. Bailey, are you going on your holidays? Huh? You going on your holidays? Where'd you go? <laughs> <laughs> they love going on their holidays. Roxy never does anything we tell her. <laughs> <laughs> but girl, Roxy. Bye bye, Bailey. So we're currently at the service station with the Bibbly Diddly Bobster, who is now one day out of her show. We are first of all heading into Birmingham though to go to something a little <laughs> bit special. So once we finish these coffees, Laney Bobster Super Muffins, we'll show you what it is a little bit. Mm. 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 Damn that smell, saffron sea. While I'm wet up for slim and a sim basti, a sim pompey. While I light a long J, think I'm in court. I'm not late. So it's now Sunday. We are here. The show is literally across the road. Lainey looks like a nice piece of aged wood. <laughs> so her tan is spot on. <laughs> <laughs> Hands down, Lady does look the best she's ever looked for in a show. We both agree that, don't we? Still kind of annoyed. <laughs> so I'm going to be covering um, Lainey's show day and everything in the next video on Tuesday, and also the new Gymshark headquarters. So if you haven't already, if you want to check out more of Lainey's prep, make sure you check out her channel. I'll link it in the description below. Um, other than that, next up, rest of the video is going to cover how to go from doing simple knee raises to some windscreen wiping wonders. So enjoy the video, and we will catch you on Tuesday. Just a little warning, we are travelling, but we'll try and get a podcast up on Monday. I might try and drag the bobster back in for a second appearance after her show. Plus, people liked having you on there. Yeah? yeah uh, I'm awesome. <laughs> Hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And enjoy the rest of this video and become an ab working wonder. We out. <laughs> you can't have none. And welcome to an ab training video with a little bit of a difference. Have you ever seen those guys who are able to hold their body out straight and swing their legs from side to side? And you might look at them like, that's a bit of a circus act, I'll never be able to achieve that. I'm here to tell you that as long as you stick with the consistency of this ab training, you can progress from the basic to the best of these exercises and you'll be surprised at how quickly you're able to achieve it. All you need is a single piece of equipment to be able to hang from, which most of the time you'll be able to find in your own home. So the idea with the hanging leg raise is to hold the body in a neutral position and focus a lot of your leg weight onto the abs. One of the first and most simple ways to start doing this is by doing a hanging knee raise. This is going to help you set the body into a posture and start to help you connect that mind to muscle, putting that weight through into the abs and also embracing that core contraction. So let's start with the basic and that is a hanging knee raise and a hanging leg raise. Using either an overhand grip or a hammer grip, completely up to you, whichever one feels more stable, whichever one your grip lasts longer, that's the one to choose. So grabbing hold of the handles, make sure you've got a nice firm grip. From here what we're going to do is we're going to engage the scapula which means keeping the shoulders back and retracted. Once in this position we're going to bring our knees up to around about our waist height and hold them out at a perpendicular angle to the floor. At the same time, what we're going to do is we're going to pull in our lower abs and contract our midsection. We're simply then going to hold and hang for around about 30 seconds. And then blowing the air out, contract the abs, keep them contracted, and then breathe normally. You're going to be able to hold this as long as the grip goes until the grip gives up, or until you get to around about 30 seconds and you feel a nice burn in the core. You're going to do around about three to five sets of this hanging version before progressing to the next stage once you feel strong enough. So once you're able to do five sets of the hanging knee raises and you feel like you're stable and comfortable enough to move on, we're going to do the hanging leg raise. Same things apply, 30 second sets or until your grip gives up, but this time you're going to bring the legs up 
in a straight line out from the body and hold from here. This has a lot more added stress on the shoulders. It also pulls on the hamstrings. So make sure that you've warmed up enough prior to doing this. Due to that extra leverage of the legs now being out in front of you, there's gonna be a tendency to want to arch the lower back and allow the rib cage to rise. So upon lifting the legs, make sure that you pull the rib cage down and push your lower back towards the wall. This is gonna stop the overarching of the lower back and keep that focus on the abs. Warm everything up as before, but now we're going to be doing multiple lifts and reps for each movement. So this is no longer a timed exercise, but more looking towards that kind of eight to 12 rep range. For the knee raise, we're going to bring up as before, but instead of holding at the top, we're going to return back down to a full neutral body position, making sure to control the abs all the way down, not allowing the lower backs to arch or the rib cage to expand excessively. So maintain that control, pulling down the abs the entire way before returning to the top. Nice and slow and nice and controlled. And this is our ret hanging knee raises. No real difference, but a definite step up in different level. Same with the hanging leg raise. This one is where you're gonna find that the body's really gonna to want to swing back and forward. So control is going to be key. The way to avoid swinging here is to include glutes within the movement. That's right, the butt is gonna help work your abs. Now to avoid the swing, what we're going to do on the negative is we're going to start to squeeze the glutes as the legs come down. By doing that, we're helping to keep the spine in a neutral position, we're controlling that core, and we're gonna be able to stop the body from swinging through because the swing is often caused by the lower back arching, allowing that momentum to kick back through the body. So strong grip, core engaged, legs come up. On the turn, I squeeze the glutes now and tense my abs. Zero swing on the body before returning back to the top and repeating for again around about eight to 12 reps. Once you feel confident in your ability to control the body during those hanging exercises, we're gonna move into the next stage, which is where we're gonna hold our body at a more horizontal level whilst up in the air to get used to holding our body weight in a controlled manner. Grabbing the strongest position that you prefer, whether it's over or hammer, you're going to kick through with your knees, keeping them close to your chest, and you're gonna follow through with the hips taking your body up to a horizontal hanging position. You're going to maintain control in that position by contracting the lats. So here, I'm able to hang at a horizontal angle and my back is controlling this motion. So practice that, holding for five seconds, 10 seconds, until you feel confident enough, you're able to sustain a decent amount of time up in the air. From there, we'll move on to this. Windscreen wipers, but keeping the knees tight to the body, like this. Out to the right, hold. Now I'm pulling strongly on the right side, I bring back to the center. Now taking the load on the left arm more, and then back to the center. Ooh, easy as that. Your grip and the contraction of the lat. So as you roll the knees over to the right or the left, that arm is the one where you're going to take a lot more of the load. Then as you come back to the center, both arms take an equal load. We want to be aiming to do around about five reps per side, 10 reps in total. Once comfortable holding your body in that horizontal position with your knees towards the chest, you can just extend the legs up to a full extension and get used to holding that as you did with the knees, a lot like this. Again, all the load here is on the back. Maintain by controlling the shoulders, not letting them drop. So we're looking for abs controlled, back controlled. From there, as you did with the knee rotations, you can do the same with a full extended leg rolling out to the right, making sure to take the load on the right arm and contract heavily on that right hand side with the lats, and then back to the neutral in the center, and then the same towards the left. Now if you begin to struggle, don't be afraid to return back to that knee rotation position part way through, and just get used to bringing the legs to full extension back into the neutral. A little bit like this. You should find though in a very short time you will be able to progress from the bent knee position to a full straight leg windscreen wiper that looks something like this. So there you go, that's how you get from a simple hanging knee raise to a windscreen wiping wonder. Don't be afraid to give this a go, don't be afraid to build it up over a number of weeks. Nobody's perfect at anything right away, but if you build up slowly, control technique, I guarantee in a couple of weeks, 
you'll be doing those like an absolute pro. Thank you all for watching. Once again, anything else you want to see, hit me up in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And that's everything for today. So I'll catch you all in the next video on Tuesday. Until then, podcast on Monday as always. I'm Lex, and we are out.